use a calculator to find the measure of angle T to the nearest tenth. Now we're working in a triangle. To find the measure of angle T, I need to identify what sides are opposite adjacent or hypotenuse. The side across from angle T is opposite. The leg next to angle T is adjacent. Now, should I use sine, cosine, or tangent to answer this question? Remember Sokotoa. Since I'm using opposite and adjacent, that's Toa, tangent. Tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Theta is a Greek letter that is used often for angle measures in trigonometry. So we're going to use tangent. Substitute in. Tangent of theta, which is t, equals opposite 14 square root of 3 over adjacent 34. Since I'm looking for angle t, I'm going to do the arc tangent. t equals the arc tangent of 14 square root of 3 over 34. When you punch that in your calculator, t is approximately 35.5 degrees. Be careful with your parentheses on the calculator. Make sure everything is punched in correctly. And since we're looking for an angle, our answer will be in degrees. Number two. Again, solving for the measure of angle T. Identify the sides. The side across from angle T is opposite. The side across from the right angle is hypotenuse. So should I use sine, cosine, or tangent? Remember Sokotoa. Since I'm using opposite and hypotenuse, SOH. That's the one I'll use. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. I'm using sine because my sides that I'm using are opposite and hypotenuse. Now substitute in. Theta is t, opposite is 7, and hypotenuse is 18. To solve for t, do the opposite of sine, which is the arc sine. The arc sine of 7 eighteenths. And when you punch that in your calculator, you get approximately 22.9 degrees. Make sure you're in degrees and not radians in your calculator. And punch everything in carefully. Remember when you're working with a triangle, identify the sides you're using, opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse. Determine which trig function to use, sine, cosine, or tangent. And then substitute the values into the formula and solve for what you're looking for. Again, we're looking for angle T here. Let's identify the sides we have. The side across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. The leg next to angle T is adjacent. Should I use sine, cosine, or tangent? Remember Sokotoa. Since I have the hypotenuse and the adjacent, I'm going to use cosine, C-A-H, because the cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. I chose cosine because the sides I know are the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Substitute in. The angle is T, adjacent is 34, 
and hypotenuse is 87. To find T, do the opposite of cosine, which is arc cosine of 34 over 87. And when you punch that in the calculator, you get approximately 67.0 degrees. I'm using adjacent and hypotenuse, so I use the cosine formula. Find the missing side, round to the nearest tenth. We have a similar situation here because we're looking for a value in a triangle. Now though, it's a side length instead of an angle measure, but everything is worked out pretty much the same way. You identify the sides as opposite adjacent or hypotenuse with respect to the acute angle you're working with. Decide whether to use sine, cosine, or tangent, and then substitute in and solve. Let's identify the sides. The angle I'm working with is the 72 degree angle. The side across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. And the leg next to the angle I'm working with is adjacent. Which trig function is it? Remember Sokotoa. Since I'm using hypotenuse and adjacent, I'll use cosine. Cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Now substitute in. Theta is 78 degrees. Adjacent is 6. And the hypotenuse is x. Here, my variable is in the denominator. There's actually a very quick way to deal with this. Consider the situation where 3 equals 6 divided by 2. If I switch places with the 3 and the 2, 2 equals 6 divided by 3. It makes sense. Those are both true. So whenever your variable is in the denominator, you can switch it with whatever is on the opposite side of the equal sign. So I'm going to switch x with cosine of 78 degrees. Now x is on the left, and cosine of 78 degrees is my denominator. When I put that in my calculator, it's approximately 28.9. That's a side length. It's not an angle measure, so it doesn't get degrees. It's a side length. Number three. I'm looking for side length x. Identify opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. The side opposite my angle that I'm working with is the opposite side. The leg next to the angle is adjacent. Always determine the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse based on the acute angle you're working with. Now do I use sine, cosine, or tangent? Remember Sokotoa. Opposite and adjacent, OA, that'll be tangent. Tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Substitute in. Theta is 24 degrees. Opposite is x. And adjacent is 12. Solve for x. Since that's x divided by 12, do the opposite and multiply both sides by 12. On the left, that gives you 12 times the tangent of 24 degrees. And on the right, the 12s cancel out, leaving x. When you punch that in your calculator, x is approximately 5.3. That's a side length. 
always make sense out of your answers. If one of those sides is 12, and the side I'm looking for, which is definitely shorter than the other side, is 5.3 a logical answer? Yes, it is. Number five. In working with this triangle, let's first identify the sides I'm dealing with. With respect to the acute angle that's measured 49 degrees, the side across from that is opposite. The leg next to it is adjacent. Do I do sine, cosine, or tangent? Remember Sokotoa. Opposite and adjacent, OA, that would be tangent. Tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Identify what the sides are, and then determine which trig function to use. Substitute in. Theta is 49 degrees equals opposite, which is 14, over adjacent, which is x. When x is in the denominator, remember you can switch it with what's on the other side of the equal sign. So x equals 14 over tangent 49 degrees. When you punch that in, x is approximately 12.2. Is that a logical answer? One side is 14. Another side that's a little bit shorter than that is 12.2 logical? Sure it is. Identify opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. Determine whether to use sine, cosine, or tangent. Substitute in and solve.